All right, so we're back out working on the dump trailer. All the parts came in, the new axle, the new equalizer bracket, U-bolts, all that stuff came in. So the other side we already cut off when we were dealing with it before. We're gonna get this side cut off, get the axle out, and then I'm gonna replace the equalizer stuff on both sides and then put the new axle back in. I believe I'm gonna have to cut the spring perches off of the old or off of the new axle and then weld on new ones because the spacing is a little bit different. You had a good run, 2015. Was it, that's, is that original axle? No. Holy oh, shit. That's all been replaced once before. All right. All the axle is out. Um, the flange distance is a little bit different, which I'm not sure why, because it's the longest axle that I could get, and it's a smidge short, but we'll see what happens when it goes into place, and then we will have to relocate the perches. These are 79 on center, and those are 80 on center. It was kind of an oddball axle um, when I went and purchased it to find it, so I got the right hub distance, and then just have to reweld the perches. Here's a new equalizer, new greasable center bolts, and perches, e-bolts, bottom plates, and nuts there. Got the back two tires off, and frame is supported by the jack stands underneath. And we'll get these bolts blasted out of there and get the equalizer dropped out and replaced. So the new center equalizer bolts come with a grease fitting, which is just a press in grease fitting, which I'm not a huge fan of. Um, if they ever catch a lot of resistance, they're just gonna push out on um, that. And then just the way that the brackets are in the trailer, the square part of these bolts is on the inside, which means the head of this bolt is gonna be on the inside and I have to reach around the back and grease it is gonna be kind of a pain. So I'm tapping them out to eighth inch MPT to put in a grease fitting that I can point um, probably down will be the easiest to get to. So I already did the first one. We're going to go ahead and bang out that second one. So the original axle has a 79 inch perch center. The new one is at 80. Um, I'm going from outside to outside instead of center to center. It's the same measurement. but So that means that these definitely have to get cut off and get new ones put on at that 79 inch mark. So we're going to get these cut off and then do a little bit of measuring and welding. So old purchase cut off, new purchase welded on in the same position um, angle-wise as the originals. 79 inches on center. Redneck powder coat is done. Um, we're going to let this cool off for a little bit. I painted up the equalizers. We're going to put the equalizers in place, slap the axle on, and then we'll be one step closer.
equalizers are in on both sides. This just gets tightened down until it's snug, but to where you can still move the center equalizer part. Um, and these just get tightened up until they're, they're snug as well. You don't want to completely pinch the spring in there, um, but you want some pressure on it too. Um, I did put some red Loctite on these. I put anti-seize on this one. This one's got the grease fitting. Um, found a piece of conduit that fit the eye of the spring hanger. So we're going to go with that. It's better than having something sloppy, I guess. Um, through the axle in place, we're going to get the U-bolts put on those, get them torqued down, and then we can start assembling the backing plate. So axles in, new bolts are on, plates on. Um, torque spec that I found online was between, they said 40 to 75 foot pounds. I torqued them to 65. I'll check the torque after a couple, probably 100 miles or so, just recheck the torque on all the hardware and make sure that nothing loosened up. So the next step to go on is the backing plate here and then reassemble the hub, adjust the brakes, put the tires on, all that. I'm not going to go into that in this video. I'll put the description up. I think it comes up over here or over here somewhere um, to one of the other videos I made a couple years back that goes over everything on how to do brakes, the hubs, change out bearings, all that. Um, I got new bearings to go on uh, both axles for the trailer. So new bearings here. I'm going to take these hubs apart, put new bearings in there as well. Um, but that's it for this. And uh, thanks for watching.